So at the very least, I won every game where I haven't uh, where I haven't disconnected. So I'll take that. But will you win if you disconnect every tenth game? That's the question. That is that is a good question. I don't think so. But I wouldn't rule it out. So Kamran Chirasi, uh, he's a he's a legend of internet chess. I used to be at ICC back in the days. It's X twenty two. He's played like. Uh, he's one of the title players who must have played the most bold games. He's pretty old now, but he still plays extremely fast. <laughs> and he's kind of kind of tricky to play against. Um, yeah, so I've lost slash sacrificed upon here. Uh, don't think my position is great, but it could have been a lot worse as well. F4, I think, is uh, overzealous. That would be at least my initial reaction. Uh, al although I did sort of sort of miss rook f2, but I think at least practically speaking, I'm doing fine here. But yeah, he's playing really, really fast. Um, yeah, rook f5, I sort of, sort of expected. Um, I think rook h2, uh, rook h2, rook h8, and then queen e5, at least practically speaking, I would have had fairly easy position to play. So don't think that was a very realistic option for him. Uh, here, obviously, after rook g8, I'm setting up an x-ray um, attack there. Uh, intending bishop page six. If he hadn't moved the king, okay. I think maybe I should go bishop page six anyway. It's very difficult to play such positions where both kings are completely, uh, completely um, undefended. But he didn't even play the Greek. He still has his king out. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? How life can take you to unexpected places. So I sort of underestimated bishop uh, h5, and now I have to resort to to tricks. But I think I'm sort of sort of surviving. Probably king e2 now. I'll take, and I'll hope for the best. I'll probably need to exchange queens here though pretty soon. I could have gone queen g4. I didn't want to do that yet. Probably should have. Still, I do have some counter chances. With possible rook. And this, I think, clearly isn't mating. But it's probably forcing the exchange of queens. So it's not... And with pawns on only one side, my winning chances are going to be at least somewhat pro problematic. So now he's just exchanging everything. H A6 in order to prevent knight B5. And uh, now I probably will have to either trick him or flag him. Well, trick him... <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that I tricked him. I would say that he tricked himself, to be honest. But it's easy to run into these kind of forks. And now, uh, an exchange up, it's pretty uh, straightforward. A lot of people mentioning in Forsen and chat. So is it because of the Swede? Uh yeah. The Swedish talk. Does he play the Greek? He probably does. <laughs> I think he does. Because a lot of people mention Forsen when you play the Greek, so... Maybe he looks a bit Greek. Yeah. Uh, 
And uh, yeah. yeah. I think he has played chess on stream. Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think he was one of the original Swedes. Yeah. Okay. One of the first <laughs> twenty at least. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, no, but as I was going to say, as if they are uh, old, uh, old school annotations of these games, mm 